I so this is gonna be another movie review. This one's called Ring of Fire 1991. It's gonna be another Don the Dragon Wilson flick. Another karate man recommendation. Oh, there's my son. Nothing. <laughs> I'm at Playland Golf Course. Miniature golf. In uh, Castro Valley, California. And uh, my son's at a birthday party for three hours. Fortunately, they have a uh, Wi-Fi and there's no mask, so I just went to uh, Burger King, drive through, grab my two chicken sandwich, eight piece nuggets meal deal for eight bucks. And uh, I'm in business here. It's kind of hard to see the screen with this glare. Here, but, uh, Sat through the uh, about 15 minutes of uh, Ring of Fire at Starbucks there in uh, San Mateo, my last video location, which I had to correct on my phone. And then, uh, then I watched the last 30 minutes here while wolfing down some Burger King. So we're making good progress today. It's only 12 o'clock, and I'm already three videos in. I think I can handle uh, Ring of Fire 2. Hopefully it's better than the first one. I'm giving this one two out of five stars. I just liked it. I thought the first part was, was just uh, some boring ring action. It looked like uh, an old TVS 19... T, uh, it looked like an old 1980s wrestling match on TBS where they have the uh, the star wrestler against the the, uh, the weakling 140-pound dude. That's what it looked like to me. The, uh, the fight scenes in the ring at the beginning didn't really impress me, but they started getting better later on. And then they do the, uh, the tie fighting action with the ring of fire and they've got the uh, they've got the glass on their hands like tile tie style kickboxing at least uh, that's what they call it in the movies I don't see anybody in the chat room but uh, if there is somebody in the chat room that I can't really see the glare sorry about that it's kind of hard to see the screen here on my uh, Chromebook, but uh, anyways. Um, so Don the Dragon Wilson is an intern in a hospital. It's kind of old for that. He's in his early 30s, I think. And then he helps out his his. Chinese auntie the uh, Chinese joint the blondie comes to eat there and uh, it's love at first sight <laughs> at first he pretends like he doesn't understand English and then he's uh, he finds a, uh, a masquerade ball flyer that she's carrying around. She leaves it on the table. So he ends up going to the mass parade ball. Um, with her whitey fiance. Uh, racist, I might add. And, uh, there's a lot of racial tension in this one between the Asians and the whites. So... Uh, so Don the Dragon Wilson asks her to dance. The white dude gets jealous. And, uh, 
eventually, uh, Don the Dragon Wilson starts hitting on the uh, on the white blondie gal. She's showing off her belly button like Britney Spears used to do back in the 90s, I guess. I don't even remember. Maybe it was later on. Maybe uh, Britney Spears copied this gal. But uh, anyway, she's showing off her belly quite a bit in this one. I don't, I don't think she gets na naked, though. It's like, uh, I could be wrong because the, uh, the sex scene between her and Don the Dragon Wilson, I couldn't really see very well. It was, it was too dark and the glare was shining. But I think she was just wearing a bra the whole time, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. Uh, I don't know why this gets an R rating other than the uh, violence and the cursing. It's pretty tame. Not many fight scenes. But the fight scenes at the end, uh, I think there are three of them. There's a street fight scene, and then the ring of fire scene, which wasn't that great. And the scene where... Uh, on the Dragon Wilson just waste these two guys. That's the scene to watch. The ending didn't make sense to me. Oh, uh, I mean, it was kind of abrupt, and uh, I couldn't figure out what was going on at the end. Anyways, uh, they end up killing uh, Don the Dragon Wilson's cousin in the Ring of Fire with the glass fist and uh <coughs> Just watching my my son playing with these other kids. They got uh, bouncing balls. I'm not sure what that has to do with uh, miniature golf. They're playing like handball. He's having a grand old time. They got food. He's a Chinese dude, but he's half Japanese. So, uh, kind of feeds into this stereotype of the movie because everybody thinks he's like Vietnamese or Japanese, which he is. But in this one, he plays Chinese. So it's kind of a double reverse role because uh, he's half Japanese in real life, but he's playing a Chinese. And on the screen, he's playing a Chinese, but. They think he's Japanese or Vietnamese. <laughs> it's all very confusing. Anyways. Um, it's got uh, Gary Daniels and uh, a couple other guys from Deadly Bet. I'll go back and see if I can fix my Deadly Bet video, include everybody on there. Like three guys. It's got Rico from Deadly Bet. Plays uh, Don the Dragon Wilson's cousin. And uh, I don't have much else to say about this. It's kind of boring. For the most part, like I said, the fight scenes are kind of few and far between, at least after the uh, the lame uh, ring matches in the beginning, which have very little to do with the plot, by the way. <laughs> Other than that's where the uh, last scene takes place. <laughs> so that's the end of my review in this stream now.
keep it short since I don't see Karate Man awake yet. Laters.